we are done filming for the day. Awesome shoot. By the time this is out, you will see that Koros has introduced a running pod, goes on your back, and I'll have a full review on it, but it actually measures uh, your stride and helps you improve the efficiency of your running. Yay! This is Nikki Bright. This is Louis Wu from Koros. Tomorrow, tomorrow, well, this is gonna be out, so you're gonna know if you know. It'll already be out by the Stay time tuned. this comes out. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Now, time for a little coffee. Pretty fabulous cupcake there, Eddie. Mom, I think Charlotte should be in the It is Monday night. I am supposed to get a run in tonight. We'll see if that happens. Not sure it's gonna happen. Meeting Koros this morning. I did not get my workout in, so oh, trying to find the motivation to get a 30-minute run in. But right now, up in the attic is where I store a lot of my shirts I have designed so if any of you want to order a shirt cj.com I know selfless plug but we have an order so I need to get a shirt out so today when I was with Koros we were recording this little running pod that goes on the back behind your waistband and it measures uh, running efficiency, tells you all kinds of data about your stride and your running. I've had this for about two months, I believe, testing, providing data, things like that. Tomorrow, this launches, it'll be announced. It is Tuesday morning, it is 425. Somebody's dinging. I've got to swim 3,500 yards this morning. There's a little time trial in it. <sighs> Looking forward to ramping the training back up after last week's light week and uh, getting into it. We are exactly... So when you have friends and family on the East Coast, yeah, that's what you get. You get 4 a.m. text messages. Yeah, yeah, nice life. Nice life. Way to rub it in there, TJ. Thanks, bud. We're 26 day. Dude, look at this. More messages, more ocean pictures, more. <sighs> Unbelievable. Just Van Dyke in the British Virgin Islands. Yeah. <sighs> Just Van Dyke in the British Virgin Islands. Tough, tough life. 26 days left until the race. <sighs> I'm getting a little nervous. Yeah, I am. You know, this is about that time of any training plan where you start to wonder, have I done enough work? Can I get it done? Can I achieve my goal? <sighs> All that stuff, you know, starts to boil to the surface. And that is one of the reasons why I'm really focused on my mental side right now. I gotta get ready. It's time to go to the pool. Meditation is one of the things that saved my life. It helped me get a handle on my serious impulse control issues.
that is it. I dropped one of my headphones underneath the treadmill. Let's see. Oh, I found it. It's way over there. It's kind of a common occurrence. Unfortunately, I knocked these Apple AirPods out. The new ones look pretty cool because they go in your ear. And these ones only last about uh, an hour before they start to die now. So that was a good run. That was 7.4 miles. Now I'm supposed to lift today. That might have to happen later. I'm gonna do it this evening. I am headed out for a trail run today. It is Saturday, it is towards the end of the week. I'm getting out there for 14 miles. Haven't been on the trails too much recently. Then we've got soccer, soccer party. Ah, oh, man, it's been a busy week, but I've also been focused on doing some reading on mental strength, calming. I've been looking at two different apps. Some of you recommended. I've, got, I've downloaded the Calm app for meditation and Headspace. I played with Calm. I used Headspace this morning going through their intro, just starting the basics of meditation. Those are just a few of the things I've been starting to look at and think about as I start down this journey. But now it is light. I uh, didn't sleep in, but I just got up and, and relaxed this morning. Took time, started some basic meditation, had some coffee, some breakfast, just quiet watch the sun rise. Now, let's get to the trail. All right, well, I am just about eight miles into 14 miles. So far, so good. It feels really, really good to be back out on the trails after taking a big break after Trans Rockies and really focusing on triathlon. But I thought I saw a snake over there. I've been thinking a lot about what is next after the Ironman 70.3 in three weeks. It's three weeks from now. I'm gonna pose the question to you. You guys have been along for the ride since day one, a lot of you. I wanna find out what you want me to do next. I've got two options that I'm considering. I'm looking at doing another half Ironman in April, the Ironman Oceanside 70.3, to see if I can continue to improve on my running, or should I go back to the Beyond Limits Ultra, which I did last year, and attempt to run 200 miles? Leave a comment, 200 miles or another 70.3? I'm gonna try the Murr Energy Cashew Vanilla this morning. I have not tried this flavor yet. It's good. I'm trying to figure out what it really tastes like. I guess there's a little hint of vanilla there. Yep, tarantula. I haven't seen one of those in a while. He's just chilling on the trail, not hurting anybody. It's funny, whenever you see him, I'm always like, oh, ah, gotta get away from it. But they really don't move very fast and they don't really want anything to do with me. back 
14 miles done. That felt really good actually. It was really good to be back on the trails. Hold on. Felt really good to be back on the trails and running. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys say in the comments about running. Should I, ooh, ooh, bad light, bad light. Should I attempt a second Ironman 70.3, which would be Oceanside in April? Or should I go back to Beyond Limits for some unfinished business and attempt to get 200 miles? Let me know, leave it in the comments. I wanna know what you guys think. Good morning. Good morning. What are we eating? Chip. Chips and? Hummus. Hummus. Yum. Where are we going? Soccer? Mm-hmm. Soccer time. After i done with soccer, I get to do Go to my party. Is today your last soccer game of the season? Yes. You are an amazing defender, Evelyn. And you know what? When you fall down, you don't cry or think about you know, oh that. Oh you oh get back up and you run around. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't remember you once like kind of crying. And you got right back in the game, dude. It was awesome. You did a great job, Evelyn. It is Sunday morning. I am headed out for a three and a half hour ride on the road, then followed by a six mile run. So overall, probably close to uh, four to four and a half hours this morning. Probably my second to last really long workout. We're starting in the dark this morning. All right, well, it's too dark to film outside. You can't see me, so I am headed out. It is just before 5.30. Knock this three and a half hours out. Well, we are back home, done with the ride, had to cut the run short. I'm moving around a little bit gingerly. Unfortunately, 38 miles into the bike, there are a bunch, there are three, uh, bridge crossings that are made of railroad ties and the third one closest to the beach with the morning dew It was wet when I hit it the bike came out from under me. I slammed on the ground My shoulders sore neck a little bit uh, I can't tell how banged up. I am. I've got some cuts and some scrapes and things like that I was able to get back up Get back on the bike finish 58 miles, got back, got out on the run, and found that uh, my knee is aching and throbbing, so ran three miles and called it quits. And uh, when I got home and I pulled my bike out, I uh, see here, a uh, little residue from my knee, bleeding, 
gotta clean that off. So, luckily, bike's not damaged. I think we're actually doing some Christmas decorating because, yes, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but we head back east on December 18th, which means it is about a month out. And if we wanna get Christmas decorations up and enjoy them, we need to do them sooner rather than later because we'll only get to see them for about three weeks before we leave. So that's what's in store after I shower and eat and maybe rest a little bit. Ah, well, we are at the end of the week. It is Sunday evening, it is dark. We have been decorating Christmas in the house. The kids love it because we leave early for Christmas to go back east. We try and get stuff up before Thanksgiving and the kids like to enjoy it, they like to do it, so they have been begging to do it, so we started today. We got a lot done. We got quite a bit done. Why don't you check it out? Cue the montage. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday So it's that's where we're at. Most of the things are up, the tree is up, the kids are decorating it as I speak. I just wanna say thank you for all the views, all the comments. I am always extremely grateful for all of you who reach out on social media through email, the comments below, all of that. And remember, if you haven't gone down and commented yet, go down right now after this video ends and let me know what you as a viewer would like to see me do next. April 2020, another half Ironman, which would be the Oceanside half Ironman, continue to focus and build on my bike, build on my swim, all of those things. Or I have this unfinished business that I'm carrying with me that I really would like to break 200 miles. And it would be kind of cool to go back to the race that started all of this, the Beyond Limits Ultra. And uh, you know, last year, brought this little bad boy home, third place male. Had I gotten 200 miles, I would have been first male. No guarantees 200 miles will get me first male this year, but I would like to break that 200 mile mark. I've broken 100, now I really, really would like to break 200. So I'm torn. I can always do that race some other time, but I want you guys to help me decide in the comments, 70.3. I'm gonna do another 70.3 at the end of 2020. So that would be my third 70.3. Or do I switch back, do the Beyond Limits, but still I have a really good idea of how my training would work. My running would obviously ramp up. There would be some more volume, but I would be keeping the swims in there at least two days a week and trying to cycle two days a week. So there might be some two a days, but I really don't want to let the gains that I've gotten achieved so far go. So I will continue to focus on those. I'll just dial it back a little bit, increase the running back up, but I have a good idea. All of that knowledge that I learned last year with the shoes and cutting them open to my toes and, and the gear and how to dress and how to eat and all of that. I, I have all that experience now, so it'd be really interesting going back into that race a second time. But thank you. I hope you guys are staying motivated. I hope you're staying focused. I hope you are training. I'm hearing from some of you that have been getting back into training, that have signed up for your first ultra, that it's so cool. Still, people will have watched the first season. Here we are in season three, and they'll watch the first season. They'll, they'll come and send me a comment that I motivated them to, to do a half marathon or to sign up for their first 50K. Whatever it is, it is very, very, very motivating for me to hear that from you guys. So have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.